But I had to put my mask on because I want to come a little closer to you. But if my glasses fog up, well, that's just what happens nowadays, right? So I want you to see this here. All right? Pretty, huh? So this is, I hope my mom isn't watching. This is her Mother's Day present for next week. And see, when you're a son, all you young guys, it's hard to figure out what to get your mom. My sisters get her clothes. If I was to get her clothes, I'd be in big trouble because I could never get the right ones, huh? Okay? So there's a place at her house where I get her a hanging plant every single year for the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years. And she loves it because she knows she doesn't have to go buy one, right? But it's beautiful. Okay. I'm going to put it here for now so you can still see it. So now tell me, how do these little flowers at the ends, and they're going to keep growing longer and longer, how do they stay alive? Can you tell me? Yes. They, they go on the ground, and so they get their nutrition from the ground, right? And what's one of the main things that you have to give those plants to keep them going? Water. Water. Very good. All right. So as long as they stay attached to the roots and the main branches, right? They're going to live. But what happens if they break off? What happens if they break off? It'll die. Not the whole plant, but that little piece that falls away. So it's really important for this plant and for all the flowers that are going to keep coming down, they continue to get their nourishment and they have to stay attached, right? If they don't stay attached, it'll die. Now, I wonder if you really heard what Father Matt read in the Gospel reading today. Because Jesus says, what did you hear him say? First communicants, there is one right here. What did you hear him say? Yes. Yes, if one falls off, it's going to burn in the fire. So Jesus is saying he is what in the gospel reading? What does Jesus say he is? I am the, the Lord. And he says he compares himself to something. I am the the vine. She's good. I am the vine. And we are what? He says, I am the vine and we are the branches. Exactly. In other words, we're like the ends here, huh? And in order for us to stay really alive, we need to stay connected to him. If we don't stay connected to him, he says we won't have life. But he's not just talking about this life. What life is he talking about other than this life we're living right now? Hmm? Back there, yes. Right here. What was that? Eternal life? Yes, eternal life. Did you want to say something? Heaven, absolutely. Heaven, eternal life. If we want to have life, if we want to have everlasting life, then we have to stay attached to Him. And today, 
you discover that one of the best ways to stay attached to him is to receive his very body. He wants to be so close to you that he is going to become a part of you when you receive his body, blood, soul, and divinity. It's an absolutely amazing thing. He loves you so much. He is that vine and we are the branches because he wants us to have life and not just life in this life, not just holiness in this life, but everlasting life. And so he's gonna give himself to you today and every single time that you come to Holy Communion because he himself is going to be like the water to that plant. He's going to nourish you so you can have the best in this life, but above all, everlasting life. Let me tell you how much he loves you. I have this particular story I've told every single year for First Holy Communion since it first happened. I used to be a pastor in uh, Lincoln Park in the west end of Duluth before I was in Brainerd for 13 years. And when I was there, uh, actually this happened maybe 20 years ago, I'm old. So 20 years ago, I was taking kids just like you, your age, and I took them into the sacristy and I opened the cupboards where we have all of the vessels that we use for mass. And you will see, just like we normally have at Mass, gold and silver. In other words, the absolute best stuff you can have, right? And so I asked them, I said, well, why do you think it is that we use this beautiful stuff? And one of the young men, God bless him, said, because we don't want to offend Jesus by using cheap stuff. Now think about that. We don't want to offend, use, offend Jesus by using cheap stuff. Here's the key today. My young friends, you become those vessels by receiving the body of Christ today. You are so precious to Jesus, more precious than gold and silver. And so you will contain the body of Christ today. He loves you. He wants to be a part of you. He wants to nourish and strengthen you. He wants you to stay so close to him, like the branches and flowers on this, so that you can have life. And he loves you so much that you become today more precious than silver and gold.